Hey, this is Andy McCann with the Again Faster Garage Game Series. We're talking about the survival of the fittest. I'm going to cover a couple items, give you guys something on the map of the YMCA, and then you can rewind it, listen to as much as you want, and post questions uh, or email us. So the first thing is, yes, Masters is now going to be 40 years old plus, but they're going to do the RX weights. The reason for that is simply, if you have a skill issue, we have scaled and beginners, but if you have an age issue like me, there's no way for me to beat a 20 year old really, so we have masters. In the future, we'll probably increase that, make it another division for masters, maybe 55 or masters something scale, I'm not sure, but at least we have it this year. Next, we're gonna be making the brackets, and for those in the smaller groups, like RX Men has about 70 people, so they're gonna be in a regular bracket. If you're in a smaller group, like a beginner's men, that only has about 10, we'll do it round robin, which means you'll go against everybody, and then we'll add up the scores a little different. The way you win each of your wads is to either complete the amount of work faster than the other guy, or girl, or to stay ahead of him. So it's your choice of how you want to win. So if it's ground overhead, you know, 30 lifts, 185 pounds, you think, I can't do that in five minutes. You don't really have to. You just have to beat the other person. Do as much as you can, as fast as you can. The next is we will have pint glasses. We're going to be ordering that. It's at the YMCA, so they are glasses, not cups, and no beer because it's the YMCA. If you want to buy a shirt, you can pre-do that now online. I'll post a link, or you can do it when you get there. The flow of the event. So this is going to be a little bit different than last year. As you guys all know, we're going to have four wad areas now, and this is going to help to equalize the suck factor, because again, it would be really bad to go against, to do Fran, and then go against somebody who's doing Annie, because Fran and Annie, come on, that's not even the same workout, right? So we're going to create areas so that the wads are roughly the same in suck factor. Next is we're going to have um, four wad groups. So you're going to march around with the same group of people, and it's going to be a group of about 70. So like I said, RX men have about 70 people in it, so they'll be in their own group. And then we'll keep combining folks to make it four roughly even groups. Next, for the start of the event, it'll probably officially kick off at 9 a.m. and end probably 4 or 5, depending on how these uh, groups and the registration goes. Uh, we will be at the YMCA on Altoona, where we did the first garage games. Um, like I said, 9 to 5, and we're going to start each wad either on the hour or a little bit sooner, so you'll know that hey, I need to go get my card, I need to get in line and do my workout, and it'll be a roughly 40 minutes of rest or so. Uh, judges and volunteers, we still need more of them. If you want to uh, judge, please let us know. You need to get certified. If you want to volunteer, just email us in both ways. We'll get you in there. If we don't have enough judges, we'll probably ask the people that are waiting to wad to help count reps. So we'll take care of it one way or another. I will be creating the brackets this week, so you should have a rough idea of where you're going to be in these brackets. And we're going to change it to a random seating. So instead of ranking you based on some of the things we picked, we decided it'd be much more fun to be randomly thrown in there. That way you have a chance of advancing or getting knocked out. But if you get knocked out, you will have a chance uh, to be when you're in the first loser's bracket to come back so the guy who wins the loser's bracket will then go against the guy who gets number two because you both will have one loss. So we'll do that at the end so you might be able to bump back up to the second place. Over here, if you guys remember what the YMCA looks like, you got Bells Ferry and the lake, and then the YMCA, the purple lines are roads. You can look at the map we'll post up. Essentially, we're going to have Watt Area 2 over by the basketball court and the playground. Watt Area 3 will be in the pavilion where the rings and ropes will be hanging. Watt Area 4 will be over where that wall ball forest was two years ago, or uh, where that other small basketball court is with the pine trees. And then WAD 1 is going to be the, the easier skilled type events, and uh, like the stand-up paddleboard, which will be out on the lake. There's an archery that's going to be way down here. And then um, kettlebell throw, which will be in the volleyball court where we did the, the tug of war. And so we're going to have it kind of spread all out. The way it'll float it out is you'll be in your WAD group. You'll follow a WAD group coordinator, and you'll just keep marching around with them. You'll pick a card out of the bucket, do your workout, make sure your name gets advanced appropriately, so hey, I won, I lost, whatever. And then take a rest, move to the next event. So it should move pretty fast, no wad will last more than five minutes. Um, and if you get done faster than that, you're done faster than that. Uh, that's about it, if you have any questions, give us an email or uh, post something on Facebook. Take care.